The year 1066 is most famous for the Battle of Hastings, but my favourite story from this year took place 250 miles away and two weeks prior to William the Conqueror's triumph. It took place at the Battle of Stamford Bridge. In January 1066, the King, Edward the Confessor, died, causing a power struggle on an epic scale. Three main pretenders to the throne emerged. The first was Harold Godwinson, that's Harold with an O. He was chosen by the White Hand to be Edward's successor. This was the Council of Nobles in the land. The other claimants were William, Duke of Normandy, and Harold Hadrada, that's Harold with an A. In late summer of 1066, Harold invaded England with a force of between six and 11,000 men, depending on which source you believe. He landed in the northeast and made his way towards York. Here, they defeated a hastily assembled English army on the 20th of September. While the invaders were consolidating their position, Harold with an O was force marching his army north, covering an incredible 185 miles in just four to six days, again depending on the sources. They reached York early on the 25th of September, where they learned that the invaders were camped just a few miles away at Stamford Bridge. Harold immediately marched his army of between seven and 15,000 men towards the enemy. Once again, the sources are not in total agreement. The English army surprised the invading army and a small number of invaders were camped across the stream from the rest of their army. The English fell on them savagely and quickly massacred them before any help could arrive. And now comes my favorite part. The English army was stuck on one side of the river while the outnumbered invaders were camped on the other side, on the flats. There was just one crossing point, a narrow bridge, and on this narrow bridge, one courageous warrior made his last stand. The legend says that this man was a Viking berserker, armed with the infamous battle axe favoured by the Northmen. To give his comrades time to organise and prepare to receive the enemy, this heroic soldier stood his ground and held the bridge against the entire English army. The story goes that despite being hit by an arrow, he took on all comers, killing over 40 men as they came one after another to try and dislodge him. Such was his prowess that he was invincible until an English soldier floated down the river in a barrel and stabbed him from under the bridge with a long spear. Once our hero had fallen, the English crossed the bridge and overwhelmed the remaining enemy army in a terrible battle that left over 10,000 men dead. Harold with an A died in the battle, leaving just William left to challenge Harold with an O for the throne. Three days later, William landed his forces in southern England, and then another two weeks later would defeat the erstwhile king at the Battle of Hastings. But that's a story for another time. As always, the references I used can be found in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. Bye!